After more than five decades in Chicago City Hall, ex-alderman Ed Burke is now in a federal prison. Burke found guilty of jilting the taxpayers, will now receive room and board courtesy of the taxpayers. The octogenarian former finance committee chairman this afternoon is here at Thompson Federal Prison in Western Illinois. He had a 2 p.m. surrender deadline today after being convicted last year. Burke was found guilty of shaking down city contractors who needed the help of his law firm. The longtime and powerful chairman of the city council finance committee was caught on undercover video in a clear-cut case of corruption that Mr. Burke fought and lost but didn't appeal. U.S. prosecutors who had been after Burke for decades but never succeeded in taking him to trial wanted a 10-year sentence. Instead, Burke received two in what some legal and political observers and Burke critics saw as a slap on the hand. The two-year federal sentence followed Burke's plea for mercy, but still represents a significant blow for an 80-year-old man who always seemed to relish the high life, notoriety, and certain celebrity status. Burke is the 38th person since 1968 to join the city council's Hall of Shame, saying after sentencing that at least this chapter is over. And now Burke's next chapter begins in a federal prison, but not this one in Terre Haute, Indiana, that he had asked to be assigned and had the backing of his trial judge. It was only this afternoon when Burke turned up at the Thompson Penitentiary in Illinois that reality may have set in for the flashy power broker. It's now the federal government calling the shots in his life, even where he will put down his head at night for the next two years. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.